everybody! Bet you didn't expect another video like this, did ya? It seems pretty apparent at this point that there are a load of things that I consider to be annoying, cringe, or stupid. Especially when it comes to the internet. It seems like just about every video I make nowadays is me ranting on some cringy advertisement or, or style of content on YouTube. It's began to get pretty stale, so today I thought I'd spice things up a little bit and broaden my level of annoyance. Without further ado, here are a couple of day-to-day -day nuisances that regularly piss me off. I feel like this is a pretty unanimous thing to dislike, but for me, motion detected bathrooms are a living hell for me every single time. I'm not sure what genius thought that we should switch to manual toilets, soap dispensers and sinks, and then replace them with fucking robots. God forbid I move a centimeter forward and trigger the damn toilet to start flushing because the water just starts splashing on my ass and making a mess. Like I can flush it myself when I want it to flush. And don't get me started on those shitty soap dispensers. I could gladly do all this shit myself because motion detection sure as hell doesn't know what they're doing. This is probably more of a me problem than a world problem, but I thought I'd address it anyways. I love walking and biking as much as the next guy, but some of y'all are too stupid to exercise in public and it shows. It seems like every time I leave my neighborhood to drive somewhere, it fails to astound me how many of you idiots decide that walking and biking on the side of the road is a good idea. I mean, there is quite literally a sidewalk five feet to the right, but for some reason people refuse to take that path that was designed for walking on. Now I get that bikers can't ride bikes on sidewalks because it's illegal and yada yada yada, so I can at least sympathize with them to that extent. But there are parks covering the area that I live in. Get the fuck off the side of the road and go to a park or you are going to get hit. This one is guaranteed to be my most popular take ever. Fetuses are super annoying, but they are even more annoying when you are literally trapped in the same location as them. Whether it's at a public meeting ground or on public transportation, babies screaming their asses off make me want to jump off the top balcony of the Burj Khalifa. Like, why the hell do parents think that bringing their kids in public areas is a logical choice to make? There should be absolutely no reason for anyone under the age of three to be on a flight or on the bottom deck seating at a Braves game or in the middle of a public gathering. I mean, you get the point. If you choose to have kids, you got to realize that other people around you are trying to enjoy themselves. So don't ruin it for the rest of us. We are sick of hearing your fetus ramble on about how much it wants milk. Sorry to all the country music fans out there. I, I know all three of you must be pretty upset to hear this, but I simply can't just turn a blind eye on this anymore. Country music is, in quotations, music for the redneck community. There are three basic topics of interest found in nearly every country music song. Trucks, cold beer, and hoochie coochies. <laughs> I had to look up hoochie coochies for a definition and found out that according to Wikipedia, the hoochie coochie is a catch-all term to describe several sexually provocative belly dance-like dances from the mid to late 1800s. Every single song is repetitive of its counterpart. Like, not only are the songs you make shit, but they don't even sound original. It's the same processed garbage of some talentless southerner who wants to talk about how much he enjoys living on a ranch surrounded by beer and hookers. Somebody's gotta say it. Country music is trash! If one of you disagrees with this one, you aren't my friend and I despise you. Mosquitoes can actually suck a dick. Nobody on the face of this earth, including other animals, like you. You spread diseases, make my skin itch, and buzz into my fucking ear all day. You dumbass bugs provide absolutely nothing to contribute to society. But the animals eat the mosquitoes and they are a part of the food web! Now, I'm sorry, but I'm not buying that shit. There are trillions of other insects that animals in the environment can eat, such as gnats, fleas, flies, 
ticks, etc. Mosquitoes are a menace to society and could go extinct for all I care. Your food chain will survive, softies, don't worry. I will gladly admit that one trait I need to improve on is patience. If something is taking way too long or is happening way too slowly, I'm gonna start losing my shit. Which is why crowding is something that I'm gonna put on this list. Have you ever tried to exit a really crowded area and get stuck behind thousands of people moving slow as molasses? And you have to wait like 10 minutes for the people to slowly creep their way out of the facility just so you can leave? Absolutely hate this. You bums really couldn't just walk a normal pace, could you? You all have to take your sweet ass time to exit these places because God forbid you walk at a normal pace, right? I mean, in a way, I get it. You only got a few doors that allow people to leave with hundreds or even thousands of people leaving at the exact same time. Like, it's not easy to get out of these places, which is why I propose this option. Make a bigger door to get out, you dumb fucks. Whose idea was this? I would like to know which one of you believed that this was going to provide a service to society. Because newsflash, your idea sucks! I don't exactly enjoy breaking my ass on the seat every time I go over a fucking speed bump. What was the end goal here? Because it clearly doesn't compare to the amount of downsides that come with speed bumps. Aside from being a public nuisance, I would actually prefer to drive faster over the speed bumps just so it doesn't cause as much of an impact to my car. Fuck it, I will drive around them if I have to, as long as I don't have to deal with running my tires over it. Okay, so so uh, I'm sitting at this fucking Home Depot here. Can, can anyone tell me what the purpose of that is? The store's over there, the entrance is there, what? It's the point of having a speed bump there. There's there's one over there too, and one that way. Why the fuck, why is anyone putting that there? Fuck y'all. Here we go, y'all ready for a joyride? I mean, look how fucking big they made these. God, fuck. Also, what the hell are low riding vehicles supposed to do? Do they literally just scratch against the bumper every time somebody drives over them? I mean, there are thousands of different things that are much more useful and help protect people. Prime example being a fucking stop sign. Sorry if this makes me sound like a spoiled brat, but it has always irked the fuck out of me when people get the ripoff food brands instead of the original ones. Like, sorry, dude, I deeply apologize for not enjoying your selection of cheese whales, cream betweens, and Mr. Potato Crisps. You all know that one type of person that would take the Whole Foods route instead of going to a Walmart because Whole Foods is a healthier alternative. Shut the fuck up, Barbara. When you shop to get a two liter bottle of Dr. Pepper, nobody on the planet wants you to go the Dr. Bob route. None of the items that you pick are healthier or taste better. Just take the original brand for fuck's sake! Yeah, save the environment my ass on this one. I'm a plastic straw supporter all the way through. As soon as I order my food and head over towards the fountain drink area, my day is instantly ruined as soon as I open one of the straw packages and I see this revolting thing staring back at me. I'm not drinking out of a paper straw because the filtered paper going into the drink makes it taste like shit. And all these people put it up on a pedestal like it's the greatest invention since electricity. And you'll actually think this is a more sustainable alternative for the environment. Well, guess what? Ever heard of biodegradable straws? Sorry, but that paper shit isn't going into my mouth. Yep, I'm still pissed off over this one, and it seems like Twitter hasn't gotten over it either. This opinion is practically unanimous by everyone, but what the actual fuck was YouTube's problem when they implemented this? They claimed that it was removed due to hate raids. Oh, 
Boo hoo. It is a number on a screen. Its only purpose is to inform other people how the video is rated. A dislike button can't harass you. It can't bully or stalk you. And yet YouTube wanted to point the finger at the dislikes so badly. And now anytime I go to watch a tutorial or a video to help me with my algebra, it's a hell of a lot harder to find the information that I'm looking for. Because a couple of people thought that dislike buttons cause bullying, and we simply can't have any of that on our platform. Stop worrying about stupid shit like dislikes and start promoting my channel, damn it. Literal NPCs must be working at YouTube headquarters, because there's no intelligent life anywhere near that building. And there you have it. Glad I could get all that out of my system. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know if you got any video ideas for me to make because the video idea tank in my head started to run a bit empty. Have a good one. Peace out.